Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're gonna do another versus or review. Um, thank you to everyone who watched the California Screaming versus the Credit Coaster. I'll link that to the top on the top right if you want to see that video <laughs> um, again. But today we're gonna do yet another controversial reskin at California Adventure: Tower of Terror versus Guardians of the Galaxy for my next ride review for. Um, the Disneyland Resort. So yes, let's start off with the Tower of Terror. Keep in mind, both of these are my favorite ride at, or were, are, or cur currently, or previously my favorite ride at the Disneyland Resort. Uh, absolutely, the drop tower system and it's the whole theme of both of them are, are perfect. Absolutely love it. So the Tower of Terror. Let's start off with that. Tower of Terror is, of course, um, the original ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida. And that is by far uh, the vastly superior one by many. So that's why some people, a lot of people were upset that Cal uh, Tower of Terror California Metro was going away. But <laughs> a lot of people also were not because they're like, oh, well, at least the one in Florida is staying because that's vastly superior. I grew up, I've never been on the one in Hollywood Studios, but I've seen POVs of it. I grew up with this Tower of Terror here in California Adventure. I, I really fit the Hollywood Land theme. <laughs> in my honest opinion, especially after the redo of California Adventure, because um, you walk in, you have 1920s Buena Vista Street, 1920s LA right there, the red car trolley, you take the red car trolley all the way <laughs> down to the end of Hollywood Land to, again, the 1920s, 1920s or 1930s themed um, Hollywood Tower Hotel. So thematically, it fit absolutely perfect. I also loved it at night. It lit up the, the purple, the neon. Absolutely loved that. It's fantastic. Um, it was great. Um, and of course, the theming. The theming, um, maybe not on the courtyard. The courtyard was cool, but really when you get inside, the, the, the cobwebs and the abandoned hotel, and then the good old, the iconic pre-show with the, um, the Rod St Sterling looking like um, I forgot his, I forgot his actual name, but he, his iconic Hollywood 1939, and this whole classic piece that I almost could do, and I'm sure lots of people can record, or say it word from word, just like the Haunted Mansion stretching room, a lot of people know that word from word as well. Then you come out into the boiler room, perfectly themed as, again, an abandoned creepy underground boiler room in the hotel, and you get on the, um, the elevator, we get on the elevator, Obviously, you go up to the mayor room and it says wave goodbye. And <laughs> the whole the special with special effects, you got everyone in the elevator disappears. You go down to the hallway, again part real set, part of it's a screen, but part of it's um physical props. Again the cobwebs, the again the abandoned hotel lobby lobby. And you see the ghost family, and then um, the ghost family gets in this ghost elevator, and then. That drops, and then you start your awesome drop sequence. One of the things I loved about this Tower of Terror versus the um, California, er, Florida's Tower of Terror is that this you have the same drop sequence. A lot of people liked random drop sequences, and I like random drop sequences if done right. Um, Florida's drop sequences, these from the POVs I've seen, I've, I haven't been on it, but um, and some from from the comments I read. Some of them can be like really short drop sequences, and some of them like short drops, and some of them could be like more intense. But I like Tower of Terror because he, Tower of Terror in California Metro, because he knew what you're we getting. And I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for that big drop. But then some, I guess some of the Florida Tower or Florida drop sequences at one point in time had no, no full drop. So then those now is me changing to Guardians of the Galaxy in 2017. Um, Tower of Chair closed January 2nd, 2017. Oh, and they had the final checkout for Tower of Chair. A lot of people didn't like that. I loved it, on in my opinion. It was really dark, it was spooky, and then it dropped that warning. It was great. Um, I loved it. I didn't like seeing the Tower of Terror full of drapes, though, or aka uh, 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 scaffolding. Um, that was sad to see and see that iconic marquee come down. That was that was tough for me to watch. I was I really do miss the Tower of Terror, but. And I was really was eh, I wasn't looking for I was wasn't looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy. I was at halfway or towards the end of construction. I was looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy because I just wanted to get back on the drop tower. 
But I was like, man, they just took away a fantastic ride, and I'm just, I'm so disappointed. I was like, one of the biggest changes, or probably the only, like, real change I was really, like, upset at Disney for doing. So then Guardians open, <laughs> and of course, like, of course I'm going to ride it, because again, it's my favorite drop tower system. And I, I actually rode it, I was getting on it, and I was thinking, this is still probably my favorite ride at the Disneyland Resort. So again, I love that drop tower system. And I loved also that we're getting random drop sequences. I just was hoping that there wasn't going to be like some bad drop sequences and some good drop sequences. Every single drop sequence, obviously there's some more intense than the others, but they're all good, which is incredible. We'll get to that in just a second. But let's start with the queue. We get in the queue. There's a statue of Tanner Taban, um, which is some nice thing in the queue. Before we actually get to the, the interior queue, let me talk about the exterior. The exterior of the Tower of Terror building was far better, uh, again, as Tower of Terror. Um, <laughs> it definitely looks like a humble, jumbled mess. Orange mess right now. Um, not all the discs and stuff. Um, and I definitely, it could be, it's definitely not flattering, to say the least. It's uh, an oil refinery, and you can't really make an oil refinery flattering. So, obviously, it, it can't be that flattering, but mm, it's, it's okay. I do like it though during Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark, which I'll talk about in depth a little bit later in this review. Um, then the facade has that little, that little magnetic lightning type stripe that goes on the on the black. There's a there's a black strip that's only used during Halloween when there's like lightning going um, or this electricity bulb moving up and down, which looks really cool. And then at night, the, the, the purples and blues, it looks fantastic. Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark at night looks fantastic. And even Mission Breakout at night, with the reds and the greens, I like that, the color scheme at night. But I still really do miss the purple iconic haze of the uh, Hollywood Tower Hotel marquee. But back to Mission Breakout, when you get in, I do like the museum feel. Um, the museum of the, the interior, I like the whole, they have a little pre-show. But the Guardians is quite funny. I love Rocket and Groot. And I love the whole Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, but I really love Rocket and Groot. So the fact that they have, you can watch them do their funny, funny antics on the pre-show is pretty cool. Although you're never in that room very often because the line um, always goes really, really fast. Especially in there um, because you just go across on one switchback and then you're already in line for, or in the waiting rooms for one of the two pre-show rooms. But in terms of the um, actual exhibits, I am a big I'm a big Marvel fan, so I really like the Marvel Easter eggs, like Ultron in there. I like the new edition of the the, the animatronics, the little that look like little ducklings. I forgot their names, but they look like little tiny ducklings, and their animatronics. And I love Cosmo the dogs in there, and <laughs> some of the cool like Loki scepter, and some other cool stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so I like, I think they, I, I wouldn't say it's an improvement versus Tower Terror, they're just, they're such, they're so different, the themes, that I can't, I'm not going to say, like, which one's better or worse, um, which thing is better or worse, because they're just so different, I don't think I can, I feel like it's like, the, at least in my opinion, they're the same level of theming, so, like, the same level of creepy, though there's a great amount of creepy theming for Tower Terror, and there's a great amount of Guardians of Galaxy space Marvel theming for um for uh, mission breakout so i'm gonna say because um, i know this is a versus so <laughs> i'm gonna say they're the same but let me know in the comments below what you guys think of each of these elements which one do you think was better do you think the exterior was better on tower the interior is better on tower or mission breakout oh i will say obviously well <laughs> i did already but i think do think the exterior was definitely better on tower than guardians but going to the pre-show room I love Iconic Rod Sterling, or I love the whole pre-show as I mentioned, but I also love Rocket. I love the Rocket animatronic. He's hilarious. It's a very impressive animatronic. So again, I'm going to rate those the same. They're both very entertaining for the themes that they are, um, the themes that they are representing. Now, <laughs> the Boiler Room definitely is better for Tower. I'd say the bo Tower does the Boiler Room definitely much better. Because Guardians didn't really change the boiler, boiler room. They added like Harold, the uh, Harold from the Matterhorn, some other couple Easter eggs, but they didn't really do any like extensive like re-theming of it. So I can't 
really say that they can't say it's better because they didn't do anything so tower um tower is a better in that regard that boiler room section because it's still basically the boiler room section <laughs> and as we come on to the ride itself well <laughs> definitely the, okay so the suspense and the, the theming of tower like when you're on the elevator itself I absolutely love it I love it love the suspense even though I spent half the ride kind of just like dark ride portions or kind of you're just going slow you're not really moving <laughs> love the suspense and love the theme but with guardians <laughs> it feels like a much longer ride because you're constantly moving it's incredible yeah, it's it's the same two minutes and 17 seconds but it's crazy how they both feel so different I think that's just credit to Walt Disney, Walt Disney Imagineering for being able to construct two different rides experiences that are with the that have the same amount of time that one feels so much shorter one feels so much longer than the other I love with Guardians that you have six different ride um, six different drop sequences each theme to a different song I thought when they said it's gonna be more fun and there's gonna be songs I was like oh my gosh it's gonna be terrible but I actually really like the song especially my favorite song and is and thus for my favorite drop sequences I want you back because when I only got that one time, probably wouldn't think at least a hundred times, and I've only got that one time. But my elevator and I are always dancing and singing along when that, or when that one time, my friends and everyone in the elevator are dancing and singing along to "I Want You Back." So I always, I always hope for "I Want You Back" when I get on the ride. But my second best, or my second favorite, "Born to Be Wild," because of the, I think the drop sequence on "Born to Be Wild" is actually better, the best of them. But I really love the song. I want you back but um yeah I love I but born to wild is also something to, to sing along to as well and I've gotten that one several times so it's always nice to <laughs> sing along and put my hands up and enjoy that one as well um, but come below what is your favorite Guardians Galaxy mission but yeah song and drop sequences at the same um, same or do you have a different do you have a favorite drop sequence but favorite song or do you have a, are they the same thing? That would be interesting to know. <laughs> Definitely let me know in the comments below. And lastly, about this review, definitely got to put in the overlay because I put in, I talked a little bit about Tower of Terror Final Checkout. Let's talk about Monsters After Dark. Monsters After Dark has the same drop sequence, but because there's so much theming from the exterior of the building to even the cast members getting in on it, um, and the inside thing, the alarms are going off, and the, the even the reworked pre-show, all of it's almost, almost like a brand new ride. It's incredible. And with the if you go on at night, because it starts at 6 p.m. But um, except on Halloween when they run it all day, but it's, it starts at 6 p.m. And sometimes it's not really dark at 6 p.m. That's it's if, if it's past like the time change, like November. Then it starts getting dark like at five. Then you're okay. But like in the September when they started, it's still light outside at 6 p.m. So you definitely, I definitely try to go on like eight or later when it's actually dark, so I can go ahead and uh, really enjoy it. When it's and that when it's dark with the whole lighting effects on the outside of the building and what's going on inside, I honestly think it may be the best version of. Everything, Guardians of the Galaxy and Tower of Terror, the best possible ride system in that building. Even though it's the same drop sequence, it's a great drop sequence, but it's also a great soundtrack. It's an original soundtrack, <laughs> and again, it's all about Rocket and Groot, my two favorite characters of the Guardians of the Galaxy. It is really awesome. All like marathon that thing. I absolutely love Monsters After Dark. I love Mission Breakout. Again, the both, all of them, every single one of the versions of that tower. Um, of the that's the drop, drop tower ha, are my favorite ride have been my favorite ride at the Disneyland Resort. Um, if, if we're not there, I'd be so upset. But yeah, the Guardians of the Monsters After Dark, something I didn't get to do last year. I'm so excited, hopefully, to do it this year. Um, but yeah, that is definitely my favorite, probably of the entire attraction itself. But also, I'd like to let me know, comment below, what do you guys think? Do you think? Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout is better than Monsters After Dark or vice versa or the same or have you not tried it yet or do you have no desire to a lot of people I've seen online or have I've even talked to that said 
they changed Tower of Terror. They have no desire. They're so upset they changed the Tower of Terror. They have no desire to ride the Guardians of the Galaxy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe to my channel for more theme park uh, updates as well as more ride reviews and even coast reviews not just from Disney parks but other parks like Six Flags as well we just started doing Disney parks and if you like these versus videos let me know in the comments below because I was thinking maybe next to do Space Mountain versus Hyperspace Mountain because um, I know that's kind of that draws a lot of criticism and people love and there's camps for both sides that like both People like Hyperspace Mountain, people like Classic Play Mountain, and don't like the other ones. So let me know if you want me to do that one next. Um, I, these videos are actually super fun to make. I absolutely love them and enjoy them. And comparing the two, or reskins versus, or overlays versus regular attractions, like Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion Holiday, it's another one I can do. So please let me know um, uh, if you'd like me to do this. And thank you guys for the, so much for the support. Thank you guys for watching the California Screaming video. Um, Again, it's up on, if you want to watch that, it's first in Credit Coaster, it's up on the right corner. And subscribe for more theme park updates, and have a fantastic day.